Hello, how are you doing? This is my project that I built one morning because I was thinking about context switching in work and how it can suck up a lot of the day going between meetings and having to inform people about what you are planning on doing because when you're thinking about what you're going to say to people about these things, it can take a while and that can be uh, time consuming and the context switching itself can be quite difficult and especially coming back out of the meeting and going back into code and going back out of the meeting and talking to LLMs is ruining um, uh, the uh, ability of people to communicate better and um, look at me for example. So I'm making um, my account with this software. Um, this is me making a company called the company Tolster. And I'm entering in my own email address and password as the CEO slash uh, project manager. I feel as though this project also helps project managers, so it's not to take them away, but I think it potentially could help everybody within a business uh, in many different ways. So I'm just going to create a couple of users and uh, show you what we have. So currently I have a uh, CEO, which is me in this case. I'm going to go into manage users and I'm going to create my wife. And, um, let's go create my son. And uh, my daughter because she will want to take part in this and be annoyed at me in the future if I don't show her in some of my videos. Okay, so now I've got uh, four people in this company. And they're all disorganized. So let's go into my wife first and add her in here. Now, the first thing she has is she has this update your profile information. It's a task that all new users get. Now, people are going to answer this in many different ways. And large language models can now parse this information for you in an intelligent way, send it off in my particular case with this project to your agent, uh, which belongs to the CEO. And we can actually see that right now, I think under status dashboard, I have two active agents. One is with CC and one is with Sendy and none is with the CEO. So because I've got two separate workers working on two different CPUs, uh, cores, um, uh, with this project and that can be ri risen up to whatever level you want. So this is scalable and it's also in a Docker container for you to be able to use. So now if we go back onto uh, the dashboard and go back to the org chat and we fill in this information. I am Zendy Tolster. My manager. Oh. One. I am the finance. Okay. We will submit that, and now the large language model will process it, send it to the CEO's agent, and then update the chart automatically. So now this also can be applied with, uh, say, creating a new task. So as the finance manager, she will be doing um, assessing company records. Uh, I, I, I'm the finance manager, I'm, I'm, I don't know particularly what she would do. She might put in a description with um, reviewing over the next day or the next while. Um, all the documents regarding internal supplies, supply costs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to all the finance managers out there. So we create the task, and if we go into the task table, we can see first of all that we have the update the profile information which everybody gets. And I'm just going to click done on that. Okay. So uh, that's come up with the wrong order. Why am I getting issues and everything? Oh, right. I'm not because I clicked on assessing company records. I apologize. So there we go. Done. Okay. Click to the right one. 
Now, if I click on that, there was no steps that were created uh, for assessing company records. But if I do have something else like counting on office, it's the task on the task and it fills out a potential or a plausible uh, amount of information that needs to be done oh so for example this one it because it's going large language model to large language model the ai is thinking about what it should do and there's a little bit of a process time again this is happening in real time but you can see um, that there is a bit of a delay and uh, a time estimate associated to it so for example assessing assessing company records uh, comes up here as gather all internal supply cost documents from relevant departments pending organized documents it made a plausible uh, guess as to what might need to be happening so if i go on to manage users i think no wrong one I have to learn my own system status dashboard i can see for example zendi has two things happening lucas has only one thing happening cc has one thing happening and the ceo has no pending tasks so that's a status dashboard agent activity this measures the amount of uh, cards or tasks that are completed over time we just created this company so it's basically blank or uh, you won't see anything maybe there's a dot down there um but if we go over here again, we can, uh, sorry, if we go back over here, assessing this and done. We're stuck. Oh, yeah, stuck. So, um, can't find files. So, immediately gets update. And we can go to done. So, click on that, click done. Done. Okay, so um, that's that part. If we go into uh, the org chart again, or go and click on Zendi over here, we can highlight any individual. But we notice that say Lucas is not done, and let's just log out. Sorry, to move my screen there. We'll go in and log in as Lucas. Let's say. Um, my boss is Zendi Mister. Zendi Mister. Zendi female. That is going to update. There we go. Um, but he can also ask, I did I ask this already? I want to know the second planet from the sun. So he should still have the agent. So there you go. The second planet from the sun is Venus. I, I'm sure accountants want to know more about the stars and planets out there. But if we go back into the uh, task table, we can see that he is now done. Okay. So uh, this is my agent's uh, company. Uh, there's a lot of things that can uh, be added to this. What I like and what a future case could be was that if you had, let's say, an MCP server connected up to this account system or as that a coder or that was connected to, say, Klein or connected to another application, all these tools could be communicating to the uh, large language models that are in here about what it is they're currently doing and their progress and their estimates and whether or not they're stuck and they're done and what they're making and it could all be tracked out in real time and you could have hundreds of uh, people on the system at the same time with only like uh, a few workers because it'll, the workers will jump around get the messages and then pass them on and so it's like near real time and if you wanted to go faster just increase the amount of cores and if you wanted to add more users just extend your docker desktop to be able to handle that and um, so this is um again available here you will find bugs i think 
um, and things that are not fully working correctly, but it works and I'm quite happy about it and I'm going to be moving on to another project. Have a nice day.